Benzi, welcome to the show. Thank you. Very nice to have you. Um, so uh, we've been recording this new album for a few months. Has it been months now? Yeah, I think we started in June, but then we took a break in August. Okay. So, so it's been about three months yes. at least, three so to four months. Thank you for coming to the show. <laughs> thank you for having us. Uh, and uh, uh, you've got a group name now. Yes, we do. What is that? The name of the group is Choose God, Choose Life. Nice. And yeah, there are four of us in the group. Yes. There's Bongile who is here. There's Bongile Malala, she's here with me. And then there is Konzi Pele who is not here. Yes. And her friend Elias who is also not here. Yes. So hopefully they'll be joining us next time. And Elias is the uh, bass. Or tenor. 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 Yeah, Elias sings tenor right. for us, yes. And then I, Sibongile, you're the alto in the group. Or how would you describe? Yes, yeah, Sibongile sings alto and I sing soprano. Yes. Yeah. Uh, so you said that you're actually a medical doctor. Yeah. <laughs> yes? Yes, actually. Uh, by training, I'm a medical doctor and obstetrician gynecologist. Yes. yes. Yeah. And I've been practicing as such for many, many years. Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, and what, how did you get into gynecology and what made you study that? Um, well, I have deep love for women. And I had, uh, when I was at medical school, I was very strongly attracted um, to obstetrics and gynecology as a specialty. Mm. Yeah, so mm. I did. I pretty much decided when I was a student that I wanted to be an obstetrician gynecologist. And how long ago were you a student? You don't have to give away your age. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mind giving my age. But, I mean, I completed my basic medical degree, which is the first six years of yeah. medical school, in 1986. And in 1987, I did my yes. internship. Yes. So I started specializing in obstetrics and gynecology. Yes. In 1990, yes. And, and you're still doing it to this day? Yeah. Wow. Um, Where do you practice? Where is your practice? My practice is in Rotterdam. Okay. Yeah. Very nice. I've just put it on pause for a while right. because I was trying to find myself. Um, so I have been practiced since July 9, 2021. Oh. Um, is that yeah. post-COVID? That's post-COVID, yes. The pandemic made you think about things? Not really. It's, yeah. um, um, I, I just think that uh, I felt that I was no longer comfortable in that space okay. and I strongly felt that God was pulling me in a different direction but I just didn't know yes. where he was actually taking and me. And that direction was yeah, songwriting. So, so yeah, now I'm a singer songwriter. Who would have thought? <laughs> That's amazing. Um, it never crossed my mind. Yes. I never ever thought, not even once mm. in my life that I would be a singer songwriter. Um, I, I had a very different direction in mind, the direction that my life mm. would take. Mm. Not this. Mm. This just came completely out of the So point. how did you get into it then? Or, you know, when did you start writing? Well, I have been writing since 2015, actually. But yes. songs always came to my mind from for as long as I could remember. Yeah. And whatever came to me, I would sing it until I got bored with it and then I would just dump it. Oh. And then at another yeah. stage, a song would also come and then I would just sing as a chorus mm. usually. Then I would just sing that until I got bored. Then in 2015, I decided to actually start doing something yeah. out of it. So when the song came, then I would start writing it. So I've been writing since 2015, but yeah. not doing anything about it. Yes. I only started forming the group in 2019. Um, and I think that's the best way to, yeah. to go about it because I think I know for myself, I can't force songs mm. and I don't write a lot because I don't think about writing songs. Whereas yeah. if you are, if you find they're coming to you, it's far yeah. more natural. And then you just feel as though you can, can write them from the heart. And I remember when we first started recording it, that when I heard it, I was like, oh, these are cover songs. And then you said, no, I've written them all. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yeah. The, yes. That's actually the, the, the funniest thing because yeah. the song just comes to me out of the blue. Um, mm. Most of the time when I'm just driving around, then the song comes. Mm. And um, sometimes when I'm just, when, when there's nothing in my mind, then the song actually comes. Mm. What's, and, what influences you? What do you write about normally? Um, when I started off, 
I was writing secular songs. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so I've got a stack of secular songs that I have so written. You're going to do a secular album which, next. Which, no, I don't think those songs will, <laughs> will see the light of day yeah. because most of those songs are were about my struggles in life. Mm. And I don't know when it all changed from secular song to becoming Christian songs. Yeah. But yeah, so the, 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 the album that we are, we, we, we are releasing right now or that we've just recorded is actually, all of it is just... Um, contemporary Christian songs. Yes. That's what Fantastic. I've written. So those are the songs that um, huh? I've just released. That's amazing. Yeah. So uh, you started out with 11 songs yes. originally. Yeah. And now it's 13. It's 13, yeah. What happened? Why did... because, because the Christmas season is just coming up mm. and I had two more Christmas songs that I wanted to two include. Two more? Was there the one album. already on the 11th? We had two more in the 11th. Okay. We had two, sorry. We had two in the in oh, the, in the, in the original yes. album, the, yes. the first 11th song. I'm playing a little dumb I, so that I can ask and you the then question. I <laughs> add, and then I added two more. Yes. Um, yeah. So, so it's got a bit one. of a, some Christian. So at least we've got four. Nice blend. Four uh, Christmas songs mm. in, in this And your album. favorite Christmas song? In this done? album, yeah, the yeah. Messiah is born. Yeah, and then your favorite Christmas song that somebody else has done. Um, I think that would have been Bonnie M, the Drama Boy. <gasps> well, that's my favorite too. <laughs> <laughs> we used to have Bonnie M every Christmas. We still do. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's yeah, one of yeah. Those things. It's always been a very wow. popular song. And your favorite, let's say, non-Christmas song on the album. Um, I would. All of them are my favorite, actually. Mm. But I would say the best one would be Christians Pray, okay. which is the title of the album. Yes. Um, I love that song because I actually know exactly when it came to me. It was at half past two in the morning. I just woke up yeah. and I was singing this song in my head. And it just kept on playing, he, you know, just going, Christians pray, yeah. wherever you are, Christians pray, wherever you are. That's how it played. Yeah. So, and it continued just playing in my mind. So now, now I keep a cell phone next to my bed, uh, I suppose. And you record it too in the morning. So I took it and I recorded it, <laughs> but it actually never yeah. left my mind. In mm. the morning, I woke up and I started writing. That's amazing. Mm. That's brilliant. So, and, and do you... Do you, do you find that do you dream about songs? Do you dream them into I don't being? dream about songs. This was the first time a song came to me. Yes. Uh, I don't even think I was dreaming. I just woke up and it was in my head as yeah. I was waking up, you know, going to the bathroom, which is my habit. I normally yes. wake up around 2, 3 o'clock and, you know, I've got that habit. Yes. So then yeah. when I woke up on that day, this was the, the song, song that was you. playing in my head yeah. at, at that particular time. But my... the rest of them, they just come during the day when I'm, whatever I'm oh. doing, then they just come. I, yeah. I, I find that fascinating because mm. I don't have songs come to me. Mm. I land up with your songs in my head at the end of the day. <laughs> <laughs> so when we sit and record and we, it's yeah. Christians pray over yeah. and over and over again, yeah. depending on how many times we do takes. Yeah. And then I find every evening then i have songs going through my head and i've got the opposite yeah uh, and uh yeah you say that you've written it about south africa a lot of the songs themes come from ideas from yeah, south africa i'm thinking that the driver behind most of my songs um it's my first of all my love for jesus christ mm. i am absolutely passionate mm. about god i'm passionate about jesus christ and uh, the second one is the situation we find ourselves in as a country so there's a lot of things that bother me about mm. the direction that the country is now taking and so yes i've got a lot of songs um not necessarily in this album mm. maybe i've got one or two in this album that talk to where the country is and and uh, basically my unhappiness about what is happening mm. here are yeah. you, uh, when you say non-secular songs, are those often sort of um, social conscious in a way? Do you write about things that are happening, you know, Actually, socially those, and the, politically? Those, the, yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm interjecting. Mm. But the, 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 these this non-secular songs, mm. I'm basically appealing to Christ for assistance. Yes, on this album. On yeah. this yeah. album. Mm. Um, with the direction that the country is taking. Mm. And 
they saw most of my song are Christian songs. And even though I'm talking about things that are happening, mm. I'm just appealing to the div for divine intervention. Mm. Yeah. Oh, well, that's an incredible message to mm. uh, bring an album to us. And <laughs> thank you for sitting down with me and having a little chat on, on my podcast. Thank you so much, Benzie. Thank you.